built. There's enormous currents, rivers of water flowing through water. Come on! Bill by the science guy. is a property of matter. T minus seven seconds. Brought to you by salt and by water. Salt, water, and salt water are wholly owned subsidiaries of the Ocean Group, including the Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Arctic, and Antarctic. Trademarks of Earth Incorporated. This popcorn is good, but it needs a little salt. Yeah. Now, if this were a bowl of seawater instead of a bowl of popcorn, it would have this much salt. Mm. Mm. Oh, man, that's salty. But in the ocean, there are quadrillions of tons of salt. There's other minerals, too, and lots of living things. I mean, the ocean is so vast. There's so much to explore. There's so much water. Wind and salt keep ocean water moving in huge currents, rivers of water flowing through Water! This is our indoor ocean of science. This is our small salty sea. Heat from the sun makes water in the ocean evaporate. Here we're using this burner. The water evaporates, but the salt stays in the ocean. Water goes up into the sky, cools, and forms clouds. Then it falls down as rain. So this water is like rainwater. It's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it is good. It's not salty at all. So wind and rain make different parts of the ocean have different amounts of salt. There are different saltiness. So over here, we have some very salty water. And here we have some water that's not so salty. Watch what happens when I raise this gate. They're gonna mix. Watch. The gate's open and they're up. See, very salty water is heavier and it pushes some of the not so salty water out of the way and we get a current. Now, winds also make ocean currents. Ocean currents move huge amounts of ocean water all over the world, all the time. Ocean currents are cool. how water in the ocean holds a lot of heat. Take two glasses, the one with water that's room temperature. And leave the other one empty. Put them in the fridge and wait 15 minutes. water feels warmer than the glass of air does. That's because water holds more heat than air. Ocean water holds a lot of heat, too. The famous Gulf Stream current has so much heat that it keeps places like Iceland, Norway, and Britain from getting too cold in the winter. Britain is also known for fish and chips, the Beatles, and rabid soccer fans. These ripples are caused by the force of the wind. See that line where the water looks smooth? That's a current line. It's an ocean current, a river of water flowing through water. You can see it. These plants are called kelp, and they float around on the ocean currents. They use the ocean currents to get nutrients, that's food, and transportation, that's how they get around, and to keep it the right temperature for growing. Right there, no current, no kelp. The currents, the currents! Oh, oh. Arr, don't forget the salt. Get out of my way! Next on Submarine. Do something. 
rescue. We're starting to float. Here we have some colored water, and here some salt. Now suppose we dissolve these equal amounts of salt in this water. Which one is going to taste salty? I don't know. Well, let's try it. easy. This one's going to taste saltier because it has the same amount of salt dissolved in less water. Now let's say we were out in the middle of the ocean and the sun is beating down. <sighs> What's going to happen? Well, some of the seawater is going to evaporate into the air and the salt is going to stay there. It's just like having the same amount of salt dissolved in less water. Now the more salt in the water, the heavier it is. So it sinks. See? Now the currents set up by warm and salty water sinking and rising in the ocean are called thermohaline currents. Now thermo, that means heat. Haline, that means salt. Thermohaline currents make huge masses of seawater flow in huge currents all over the world. It's salt. It's thermohaline. It's salty. Don't drink that, Bill. Mm. Oh, boy. That is salt. Told you. Here is neat experiment you can do in your hovel. Fresh water is good to drink. Oceans contain salt water. You should not drink salt water. So what's our mission today? Well, today we're going to deploy a data marker buoy, which will help us keep track of currents. Standing by to deploy data marker buoy. Now deploy the data marker buoy on the port bow. Data marker buoy deployed. A data marker buoy drifts with the ocean currents. It sends out a radio signal that we can follow, and we can see where the ocean currents are flowing. Now launch a small boat to retrieve the data marker buoy. By throwing these cards in the water, um, we're helping scientists get information about the currents. It's really great to be able to hawk these over the side and just watch them float off, and you don't know where they're going to end up. And it helps scientists. So the scientists can study how the currents flow. And... I hope my car goes somewhere far away. <laughs> these are made out of wood there. After a while, we're going to see, like, six months, they'll buy will be great. One, two, three, to the currents! <laughs> you record that position as 47 degrees, 48.0 minutes. That would go into the scientific room. Put together like this, but it must be a pretty strong trip. We're walking along the beach, you find drift cars that people may have thrown over earlier before us. We threw out 20 drift cars today, and I bet you we get 10 letters back. The kids will get the letters. And that's valuable scientific information. If it caught the right current, it'd probably go all the way to Asia, to China, and Japan, and places like that. Actually, I hope it goes to Hawaii, but. <laughs> causing you to lose your footing? Tired of slipping and falling in front of girls? New Sure Grip, the super adhesive that won't let you fall down. It's scientifically designed to withstand even the strongest ocean currents. Get Sure Grip now and stay attached. <laughs>
Warning, do not apply sure grip to your head. Check out this aquarium. Just like in the ocean, we've got fish from all over the place, and they depend on moving water for food and oxygen. That's why we have all these pumps, pipes, vats, and valves to keep water in the aquarium moving. See, it's just like in the ocean. Well, it's, it's not just like the ocean, just like the ocean. It's not just like the ocean, it's an aquarium. <laughs> it's a big aquarium, but the ocean is, is a lot bigger. But, but this is a big aquarium, and, it, and it's got currents. Moving water, currents. I mean, that's, that's what we're going for here. I'm an expert on jellyfish. I'm Claudia Mills, and I'm an oceanographer. I study plankton, which is the animals that drift in the ocean currents. OK, here's our sample. This is what it was all about. It does look like soup. But it's really plankton. Reach in. What do you see? More jellyfish. Maybe they're glasses get a little peek. Each time you do a tow, it's another little peek at the ocean. It's a tiny peek in time and in space, but you add them all up and we really begin to see what's going on out there. I can't fight the currents! Oh, it's so oh, 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 oh. It's oh. Do you see? The ocean currents have even carried this bottle across the seas. The ocean is salty, right? Yeah. Now, why aren't rivers and lakes salty? I don't know. Well, please, consider the following. Rainwater falls on the land, and it washes minerals, minerals like salt, from the rocks and soil on the land into lakes and rivers. But the minerals don't stay there. No, they flow downhill into the nearest ocean. So lakes and rivers are constantly getting the minerals rinsed out of them. Of course, there are a couple exceptions, like the Great Salt Lake in the western United States and the Dead Sea in the Middle East. These are bodies of water with no outlet to the sea. So the minerals, particularly salt, keep building up. They've built up so much that in the Great Salt Lake, there's four, 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 four times as much salt in the Great Salt Lake as there is in the ocean. Now, rain has been falling on the Earth since the Earth was formed. And the ocean is huge. So the amount of salt in the ocean has stayed about the same for the last one and a half billion years. Hey, where you been? Well, thanks for joining me on... Next on Beverly Hills NAH2O. Donna, I'm worried about Dylan. He's been acting vicious again. Kelly, you knew he was a barracuda even before you went out with him. The sun makes water in the ocean move in ocean currents like this. The sun's rays are the strongest at the equator, so it warms the water most there. The water molecules get going faster and faster, and they move farther and farther apart, so they don't weigh as much. Then the cold water from the North and South Poles comes in and pushes the warm water up and out of the way. Take a look. This is the sun, and this is the icy North or South Pole. See the water moving in a circle like this? Now, if there weren't any continents, if the Earth weren't turning, then the ocean would only move in this direction, from the warm equator toward the icy North and South Pole. But the Earth is turning. So as the water leaves the warm equator, it gets pushed to the west. And that makes ocean currents in the northern hemisphere flow mostly in this direction, and ocean currents in the southern hemisphere flow mostly in this direction. Isn't that cool? Well, do you see how it works? <laughs> do you get my drift? <laughs> oh, that's your ocean comedy. Uh, shouldn't have gone against the current. Shouldn't have gone against the current. Shouldn't have gone against the current. In the northern hemisphere, they move in large clockwise patterns. 
like giant rivers flowing clear across the ocean. A current event. Since the dawn of sailing, there's been a dark secret about this Atlantic Ocean. We here at A Current Event have uncovered the truth. From a high place source, we can only refer to as Deep Vent. Without a doubt, the Atlantic Ocean has the most powerful current in the world. The most powerful. The most powerful? I can't fathom that. Mark my words, it's a fact. And it's called the Gulf Stream. This warm Gulf Stream current sweeps across the Atlantic to Europe, which thus has a warmer climate than it would have otherwise. It goes around the Atlantic Ocean like a clock, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. So this current, where does it get its power? The sun. It warms water at the equator. It expands and flows towards that cold North Pole. Gives me the chills just thinking about it. Have you ever heard of sea level? It means you're at the same height or level as the sea. Sea level. And if you're 2,000 meters above sea level, it probably means you're on a mountain, like this. Amazing. Now, the highest mountain in the world is Mount Everest. It's four times higher than here. It's over 9,000 meters high. And Mount Everest is uh, in Tibet. Tibet is also known for Buddhism, the Dalai Lama, and yak. And if you're about 100 meters below sea level, it means you're much lower than the ocean, like here in Death Valley, California, the lowest point this side of the Atlantic Ocean. Death Valley is also known for cracked dirt, oxen bones, and a lack of convenience stores. Thank you. Thank you. So you can see, I'm on the level. <laughs> Here's an experiment that shows how the salty ocean makes things float better. A raw egg won't float in fresh water, but if you pour some salt water in a glass, That's because salt water has more stuff in it so it can hold up the egg. Science rules. It floats. Near as we can tell, in our whole solar system, only one planet has oceans. The Earth. You see, Venus is too hot. All the water there has become water vapor. And Mars is too cold. All the water there is frozen solid. But not only does the Earth have liquid oceans, the oceans are always flowing in huge currents. Currents that carry minerals up from the bottom to the surface and nutrients from the surface back down to the deep. Living things like eels, birds, and tiny plants called plankton depend on ocean currents for transportation, food, and suitable climates. Other living things hitch rides on ocean currents and feed on the living things in the currents. So those living things depend on ocean currents indirectly. Huh? Only the Earth has oceans, and only the Earth has living things. Coincidence? I don't think so. Greetings. Our brothers and sisters in the oceans depend on currents for food, transportation, and suitable climates. The waters of the oceans long have been valued as broad highways between land areas of the Earth. Many living things depend on ocean currents for food, transportation, and suitable climates. Yeah. 
with the National Science Foundation. Huh? Nice turtleneck. The sun. The sun makes ocean... No, no, here we go. Here we go. The sun makes water in the ocean move in ocean currents like this. The warm model, come on. Now, if there are no... And... The ocean is huge. So water in the ocean has had about the same amount of thought in it. Gosh. When you blow up a balloon like this. <laughs> Sorry. They laughed. They said that warm water would not rise and cold water would not sink. I'll destroy them all. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> 